Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, often referred to as HIPAA, is the answer Congress provided. Congress first introduced HIPAA in 1996 to promote a more efficient health care system by reducing administrative costs. It also regulates the privacy, security, and electronic transfer of protected health information, PHI, through the privacy rule. HIPAA contains two main components, the Health Care Insurance Access Renewal and Portability Provisions and the Administrative Simplification Provisions. This course is primarily concerned with the privacy and security rules contained within the Administrative Simplification Provisions of HIPAA as well as the High Tech Act. There are several common misconceptions about HIPAA. For instance, HIPAA does not guarantee health care coverage for all individuals, replace the federal government as the primary health care regulator, or require health plans to offer specific benefits. HIPAA's administrative simplification provision aims to improve efficiency, protection, and security of health care information by defining national standards for the transmission of health care data and transactions, defining privacy rules for protected health information, PHI, giving people more control over their information, requiring the use of national provider identifiers, NPIs, and defining security rules. Which statements correctly describe what you've learned about HIPAA so far? The administrative simplification provisions under HIPAA outline national standards for healthcare providers related to the security and privacy of an individual's healthcare information. It also sets standards for the electronic transfer of medical information and transactions by health plans, healthcare providers, and healthcare clearinghouses. These standards address expectations related to standard transactions, electronic data interchange, EDI, national provider identifiers, NPIs, security of electronic personal health information, and privacy of health information. HIPAA's national standards are intended to have several advantages. Their aim is to reduce the burden of complex administrative procedures, the cost of paper handling, and the risk of error and loss of secure data. Only organizations covered by HIPAA's provisions are required to comply with these rules. These organizations include health plans, clearinghouses, and health care providers, such as your local family doctor, payers, such as health insurance carriers, health care administrators and billing agents, and business associates of any of these organizations who perform certain services that involve the use or disclosure of protected health information. The privacy provision outlines standards for the security and privacy of an individual's health care information. What are the key elements of the administrative simplification provisions of HIPAA? HIPAA defines rules that govern the behavior and standards of health care providers, insurers, health plans, health care clearinghouses, and their business associates who transmit and use protected health information. The administrative simplification provisions of HIPAA set standards for the security and privacy of personal health information and standardizes electronic health care transactions. HIPAA regulates the actions of companies who collect and use protected health information. HIPAA defines the companies that are controlled by its provisions as covered entities. These organizations are primarily in the business of providing health care and related services to patients. Other companies who perform certain services that involve the use or disclosure of protected health information on behalf of covered entities are also subject to HIPAA's regulations. These organizations are known as the business associates of the covered entities. In this topic, you'll find out about the types of companies that are considered covered entities 
and those that are considered their business associates under HIPAA. Under HIPAA rules, covered entities must meet requirements for handling protected health information. They must adopt privacy policies, provide information to patients about their privacy rights, train employees, and designate a privacy officer or some other point of contact to act in that capacity. HIPAA's definition of covered entities includes health plans, health care providers, and health care clearinghouses. A health plan is a plan or a program that provides or pays for medical care. This includes health, dental, vision, and prescription drug insurers, HMOs, public and private health insurers, Medicare and Medicaid, most employer-sponsored group plans, and any other program whose main purpose is to provide or pay for health services. Healthcare provider is any person or organization that furnishes, bills, or receives payment for health care in its normal course of business, whether it actually processes the transaction itself or uses a third party. Any healthcare provider who electronically transmits health information about claims, benefit eligibility inquiries, referral authorization requests, or other transactions is considered a covered entity. A healthcare clearinghouse is a firm that processes non standard information it receives from another entity into a standard format or vice versa. For example, this category could include billing companies and community health information systems. Not all individuals or companies involved in the healthcare business are considered covered entities under HIPAA. However, for the purposes of this course, the definitions just discussed should be sufficient. HIPAA's requirements also extend to the business associates of covered entities. The intent is to ensure all parties who use protected health information will have appropriate safeguards in place. To determine whether a company is considered a business associate under HIPAA, it is useful to ask, does the company perform any service or function that involves the use or disclosure of protected health information, or PHI, on behalf of a covered entity? If the answer is yes, the company may be considered a business associate that is covered by HIPAA's provisions. There are some exceptions to this general definition. For instance, HIPAA permits covered entities to release PHI to a healthcare provider for treatment purposes without triggering a business associate relationship with that provider. Several questions can help determine whether an organization or individual is considered a business associate of a covered entity. Does it have a need to handle any PHI during the course of its business? Does it perform any administrative tasks using PHI? Does it provide the covered entity with any legal or financial services requiring PHI? Are they not a member of the covered entity's workforce? Definition, a covered entity's business associate is one that is involved in the effective running of that entity and who uses PHI in that capacity. Administrators of any kind can be classified as business associates if they use PHI in their capacity to do their work for a covered entity. For example, an external billing agency which a health insurer employs to process claims. And accountants frequently count as a covered entity's business associates if they deal with PHI. An example is a lawyer who advises a health insurer on appeals of patient claim decisions. Any employees of a covered entity cannot be considered business associates as they would already be covered directly by HIPAA regulations and bound by the rules of the organization they work for. Note that covered entities frequently contract with or employ service providers who are not considered business associates because they have no exposure to PHI in the course of their work. For example, a cleaning service employed by a hospital wouldn't be considered a business associate. Although the hospital is a covered entity and the cleaning service is employed to aid in the hospital's day-to-day -day functions, 
the cleaning service doesn't handle any PHI. Every business associate must meet certain requirements for using PHI. These responsibilities must be described in a written contract between the covered entity and the business associate. Business associates have a duty to safeguard PHI and not disclose it to anyone unless stipulated in the contract or required by law. They must also ensure all employees and subcontractors follow this requirement. Business associate is required to amend any erroneous PHI if the covered entity requests it. When the contract expires or if the business relationship is terminated, the business associate is required to destroy or return the information to the entity. The only instances in which information may be disclosed is when the covered entity or the individual whose information is being disclosed instructs the business associate to do so or when disclosure is required by law. A business associate of a covered entity may itself be classified as a covered entity and be subject to HIPAA's regulations directly. Take the example of a healthcare clearinghouse that processes billing for a health insurer. The clearinghouse will be the insurer's business associate, but is also a covered entity in its own right. A private clinic that specializes in care for the elderly is considered a covered entity under HIPAA. The clinic provides a range of services from simple doctor's consultations to complex surgery. The clinic employs various external companies to handle some aspects of the business, as well as medical consultants and specialists. Which external companies would be considered business associates of the clinic? Covered entities are defined by HIPAA to include health plans, health care providers, and health care clearinghouses. HIPAA classifies covered entities according to their use of PHI. Generally, business associates of covered entities are individuals or companies that perform functions or services that involve the use or disclosure of PHI. Both covered entities and business associates have obligations under HIPAA concerning the treatment and privacy of PHI.